Hey guys, I want to do a real quick video today on a pair of boots I just picked up um, from JK Custom Boots. Yeah, where do I start? I guess I'll just start at the beginning. Um, I've been looking for, I'm always on the lookout for a, a new pair of boots. Um, the kind of work I do, uh, they don't seem to last very often. I've got several different pairs for depending if it's summer or winter. Um, just to kind of rotate through them. Sometimes I, I wear them and some just get so filthy and then trade them in and out for a fresh pair or whatever. So anyways, always on the lookout for uh, next best pair of boots. And uh, always seems like whatever whatever company I've bought from in the past, uh, whether it's Thorogood or Danner, uh, Solomon, you know, I've had King Boots, uh, Red Wing, you name it. Just a bunch of different kinds from a bunch of different makers. Um, always seems like there's just not the the perfect boot right um one might be super comfortable but it's just not going to last and some are super uncomfortable and stiff built like a tank and man you just, they just hurt your feet to walk in them and um yeah so anyway been on the market for a pair of boots and um so i'm like you know maybe i'll give one of these custom boot manufacturers a, a go and, and there's a bunch of different ones and i'm sure they're all they're all great from uh, you know whites and west coast and uh you know uh, franks and nicks and they're, they're i'm just i don't have a list or anything written down just going off whatever so anyway i'm not into a uh, long story short i wanted to give a, a custom boot manufacturer a try so so where do you how do you narrow down the choices um so you look online you, you find reviews and um you start so you start there uh, one of the things that kind of led me to to JK was um, a lot of the manufacturers. Most of the boots I currently wear and have always worn don't have a, a big, a big super high arch in them. So um, going from basically a flat boot to uh, some of these other ones out there that have a real high arch, I thought my may have been a little bit of a, a jump. So uh, let's go baby steps. So uh, I noticed JK um, their arch didn't seem to be so pronounced, didn't seem, seem to be so aggressive. So I figured that might be a uh, a good place to start good as any anyway um the look of the boot also their website you know real easy to navigate um yeah and the things that i had read from you know other customers reviews and whatnot um were outstanding so i said hey you, we got to start somewhere we'll just go ahead and start with these guys and um i couldn't be happier that i did i mean honestly everything i've heard and seen th thus far they have lived up to it um without a doubt um, my process with JK started online, I guess about December 1st, I got online. I said, well, let me just get a, uh, let me just get a set of boots out and get them in my hand. See what they, uh, see what they feel like. You know, you see pictures and you hear testimonials and this, that, and the other. So, but until you get them in your hand, you, you just don't know. So I said, let me just go the easy route. I don't need to talk to anybody about making me a set of boots. I don't even know if I'm going to like them regardless of, you know, how they fit, if they just look a certain way or I'm not happy with how they look or feel. Um, just that just that initial um, look and feel. If I'm not happy with that, then there's no, no sense in me just going ahead and let's put in a custom custom order. So went online, added to cart, send, go, and uh, waited a few days and didn't get an email reply saying, hey, your boots have shipped or anything like you would normally get from buying from any anywhere else. So I was like, okay, no big deal. I'm sure they're busy and, and whatever. Um, I get a I get a reply email. Hey, uh, hey, we got you. We got your online thing. Call me, Tim. Uh, whenever you get a can, I want to dis, uh, discuss your order. So I give give Tim a call. Super super pleasant guy. Uh, right out of the gate, wants to know uh, everything. Like, oh, how do you even know your own boot size? And I said, well, just historically, I've always been this size, this width. And he asked me what other manufacturers have I had, and I told him, and you know, he's like, okay, well, I tell you what, we size our boots a little different, so let me just go ahead, instead of sending you out a test pair that are going to be way off, why don't we just fill out a fit sheet and, and go that process? I said, okay. He goes, no. And I said, well, I wasn't looking to do you know, anything custom. He goes, no, 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 this, we'll send you out the fish, fit sheet. This'll, this will get you, a, this will get us to have um, the closest off the rack boot that we have here, like a test pair sent out to you. So at least we can narrow it down. So if you say you're a 12, but JK says you're a 10, 
listen to what JK is saying because that's about how it was with me. They gave me a size that I had never been before. And I said, okay, well, he's, he's the boot maker. He, he's going to know. Um, and I don't care what the numbers are as, as long as the end product feels good and fits right. Fair enough. Um, so I, I said, yeah, send me out the fit sheet. He did. 10 minutes later, I had uh, had that done, sent it back to him. Next day, he gives me a call. We go over the, the, the fit sheet. He said, I got a pair of boots. Perfect. We're going to send them out. I said, fine. Uh, however many days later, uh, I guess it was about a week and a half later, he calls me wanting to know how the test pair fit. And I said, well, I haven't gotten them yet. He's like, well, that's unusual. And I said, well, the ship date or the, the carrier says they're not going to be delivered for another 10 days. He said, oh my God, I, I don't know what even happened with that. You should have already had them. I said, well, it's not a big deal. Um, he was concerned enough to see about, hey, can we send you out another pair and maybe it'll get there before this test pair? And I was like, no, 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 we're, we're good. I'm not you know, in any real rush for them. I know this process could take a while. So um, I'm not hurting to get the trial pair of boots just whenever they show up. You know, I can wait a, you know, a few more days isn't, isn't the end of the world for me. So get the test pair in finally, no big deal. And that took about 10 days longer than it, than it actually should have. Now this was right, it's like I said, my initial online order was like December 1st. So about the time these boots started showing up was right around the holidays. So I, I, just, I just chalked it up to that, no big deal, whatever. Anyway, finally got the boots in, uh, the test pair in, got them on my feet. Tim got on, he told me to call once I got in, got him on the phone once I had the trial pair on. Um, a couple things, uh, once the test pair got in, I was amazed right off the bat. Let's just start with that. When the, when the test pair in, I unboxed them, I was like, wow, they, they look, they're everything that I was wanting them to look like and feel like. The leather is super supple. It is super thick, but uh, just it's very pliable right off the bat. Um, the tongue leather is super, super thin, but ultimately pliable. Um, when, you, when you lace them up and everything, all this folds up real nice and tight. And, you know, it, it cinches together. You don't feel any, any discomfort there. But so the, the, look and, the look of the boot was, was perfect. Um, got them on my feet, called. Uh, called Tim. We ran over some things that uh, about the fit and the feel and what was supposed to be normal. I, knew, I, knew, I noticed the, the arch support right there. Like I said, normally I just wear you know, flat boots with real no, no arch support. So these right away, he's like, oh, I, I feel that. And he says, that's fine. Your foot will just naturally mold to that if you're not used to wearing anything with a high arch or these are a medium arch, I guess. So if you're not used to having any, any arch support, you're definitely going to feel that. It's natural. Don't worry about it. How's everything else? I told him one thing on the test pair right here. When I laced them up, my foot's pretty narrow. Um, when we laced them up, these uh, got, I, I thought, a little too close together, the eyelets, when they, they just draw in. I said, and even if these things loosen up a little bit more and break in, I'm only going to have about you know, three quarters of an inch to an inch there max. And I said, I don't think, I've got another pair of boots that, that went, terrible and it's even more pronounced up up here at the top with that other pair of boots I have I mean they're, they're I mean touching and it's terrible so anyway I made that uh, known to him uh, so he made notes he says oh yeah we can we can open that up so when we tighten them down you want about an inch and a half you know of, of width uh, left through that uh, through the throat of the boot right there or whatever so as we're talking about the fit and feel and everything he's making notes on he, his end um, one thing that I wanted that, you know, um, I just wanted the honey soles on these with the natural uh, look. I didn't want the black uh, for whatever reason. It was just a, a personal preference. Um, these, I don't, the kind of work I do, I don't need the ultra fire uh, resistant. Or, and and you know, I wanted the softest, most comfortable boot I could walk around on that I could get. So I figured the honey soles that had a better look to it for me. And um, if it was a little softer than the, the other black soles, um, yeah, that was a benefit as well. So anyway, uh, got off the phone with him, said, okay, uh, per their website, you know, their normally lead times are, you know, six, seven weeks, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. I had heard both. So I was, like I said, I wasn't in any rush. Got off the phone with him that day. I guess it was about, finally, I guess it was about December 30th, expecting to wait, you know, maybe even up to two months for these things. Uh, January 18th, Saturday, this past Saturday, they, they showed up and uh, I was beyond surprised when the doorbell rang and I opened it up and I was like, what, what's this? And uh, man, just wow. Somebody has got it right. 
and uh, Tim and, uh, over at JK and those guys, what, what a product they put out. I mean, the fit and finish is uh, not like any other boot I've ever had. Uh, I couldn't be happier with it right now. Like I said, I don't have any miles on them, so this is just an initial impression. You know, they're going to live up to the hype. I'm already confident in that. The, the, the overall construction, you know, you got four, three and four layers of stitching that hold everything, everything together. Two rows of stitching that hold the sole, the sole on. Um, double rows of stitching, the, the, it's screwed in there. I mean, these things are... Uh, a, a solid boot you slide your foot into this thing and it is like no other boot I've ever had on I mean all this just wraps around lace these up the width on the lacing was absolutely spot-on he tightened all that up or actually width uh, loosened that up so when I pulled it together the the eyelets didn't come you know come too close or anything like that the, the boot just molds to your foot I'll say that that is that is the only way to describe it. Through the heel area, through the toe area, everywhere about this. You, and, and the very first time you put them on, like I said, I noticed that, that arch support. And I was like, okay, no big deal. Walk around the house. Every minute that you're in these boots, this leather starts to, to warm up. Your foot starts to mold. I've had these boots for four days now, and every day I'll, I'll throw them on for a few hours just to walk around the house. And I haven't got, I've been dying to get these things out there to see how they're going to do on the job sites and everything, but I didn't want to get them all mucked up to try to make this little review here. I'll do one after I've got them uh, really torn up or try to, you know, just after a few months of, uh, of use and just kind of report back. But yeah, right now, I mean, they are, I mean, they're as comfortable as any other shoes I've, I've got on, to be honest with you. I mean, any other boots. I mean, other than my most comfortable running shoes that I've got, I mean, these are right there. I mean, they're, they're a pleasure to walk in. And I've never had a boot right out of the box do that. I mean, not once out of every pair. And all of them say, oh, it's going to have to do this. And you got to soak your foot in hot water, take it out, heat it with a hair dryer, stick them in the oven. You know, you got to go through all this convoluted, you know, BS just to make, a, make it fit and feel right. JK's got it done 100% right, right from the get-go. I mean, I, I was blown away. Definitely blown away. The look, the fit, the feel, the finish. So far, I couldn't be happier with them. I would totally 100% recommend JK. Uh, Tim and the guys over there have got a home run. Um, yeah, without a doubt. I'm going to get back a, I'm going to do another review on these things in a, in a few months. But um, yeah, any questions or comments, just leave them below. I'm done rambling about this. Um, yeah, so appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks.